Pratt Fletter now moving over onto the Widowmaker, taking the clutch into his own hands. The headshot what? after headshot after headshot. I do not believe what we have just witnessed. The Shanghai Dragons are elite. Gesture, though hit with a Discord Orbit, needs to be careful now. And that's a Gravitic Flux from Marvel. Doesn't find much here and has to be a kinetic grasp on the way back down. Gesture falls, Toby follows. Joy Cobra gonna chase it after Marvel and the whole hog. A victory dance for Super, oinking his way to victory. Whoever said lightning doesn't strike twice has never met the San Francisco shock. Your 2020 Overwatch League champions. The Fusion need to find an opening. Sparkle now moving through, but X is on the flank. The headshot onto Carpe. One of their star players taken out early. And Boombox just left to his own devices in the sidelines. He goes down the Fusion. Only a couple of players left remaining. EQO's gonna come up huge right now. Everyone is weak. EQO with the blade, pulls it through, builds it up. Will it be enough? One kill, two kill. Are you kidding me? EQO now finds it with the what? third. And now it is overtime, Exy moving over to the Tracer to try and deny, but EQO, EQO, what? what a player, what a star, unbelievable performance in the overtime clutch, and normally it's Carpe, normally he steps up, but this time, EQO reminds everybody at home why he's still on this roster. I think a game five here is to be burned. Again, he takes out Neptuno. That's huge. And London, they know it's a big opportunity now. There's no one to resurrect Neptuno because he's the one that's supposed to be doing that. Hot was knocked away. Jesse gets aggressive in the fusion. Realize they're going to try and hold up. Oh, no. Bob Greg hit the double bomb. But will it be enough? It looks like it will. EQA staying on his feet. Can't be taken down by murdering the Prophet. Are you kidding me? All on his own. The lone sniper. Answering grab coming through from Vancouver, locks him in the sound barrier sound. It's a huge the bomb coming in from John. Oh my god, Mikel! He does it again! We saw it from him yesterday to get the victory over the charge. Now he does it to take the win on King's Row! Now he talked about it with Mecco and Mono, the only duo to rival them in the shatter bomb combo was gonna be Bumper and Janu. A bomb that opens things up, trying to give them some space. Grab not search gonna be coming through from New York, locking them up. No kill oh, the other shatter! The no way! Quadra kill! Mecco decimates their lineup! And it's the threat of the shatter that they do not respect. They come in there, they get grabbed. He comes around the side and sets up for the big bomb there. He's hacked again! Coalescence pressuring him out. Can he get away? Yes, he's able to duplicate now if he chooses and he's got to copy the Winston. Here's the EMP though. Fletter can't jump. He's stuck on the card right now. Self-destruct claims fate. That is a big one. 6v5 and another transcendence has to be used, but it might not be enough here. Lip's going to go down. Six versus four. Pulse bomb available for Sparkle now. Is this the moment for him to use it? He gets the stick. Izayaki is down. And the cycle of misery is finally broken. Today, those that burn blue burn brightest. 79.5%, ladies and gentlemen, that is what they need to take their first match victory. Are you guys ready to see him take it? Ding up top. Maybe spraying away. Color Hex going oh so low. They had hacked him out, might have been able to get it. Now he's going to be isolated. Gumsu goes low. They haven't finished off the Zarya. We need to hack it on the Axiom. Ding They're on takes the it out. They're on the, down on the point. Started to tick their way up. The first one getting ready to come through. It comes down, Yongjin saying alive, Kellex knocked down a half HP, the first tick, gonna be gained. You can feel it. Almost there, pushing from the back, they're ticking up again. Note's gonna be hacked, he's gonna be taken out of the mech, finished off. It's happening. This could be it, the second tick, getting ready to come through. Kellex gonna be eliminated. Transcendence is out from Aim God, but it's gonna expire. They will be able to finish him off. There you go. They're gonna get it, just a couple more percent and go. Let him have it, Boston. Hexium, pop of the Bramble Ridge, but it does not matter. Let the fans take us out to the break. Enjoy it. Shawport needs to control Pine. Otherwise, uh, yeah, the power is going to have a bad time. We'll see what hydration does. Oh, oh, unbelievable! What, oh, the, what is this? What is I'm losing my mind, Pine! I can't take it anymore! Oh, oh. Please stop! Three massive kills! And it's not just the fact that he gets three, it's the manner in which he.
she achieves them. Well, 10 seconds remaining. They're waiting for the EMP engage, but no one's in position. Solo goes down. The e Assassin! Assassin! <laughs> so, so, someone call ESEC! Someone call the Esports Commission! <laughs> Integrity Commission! Get them online! What is that? <laughs> oh, call the SBI! What is going on? <laughs> what is happening, boys? Okay. Maybe that's going to explain it. Uh, no, it's not I mean, going to explain it, friend. That's the other team. That's the other team. Other team. Gangu with the body grenade early. That's a very early immortality field as well. Could be dangerous, but there's a blizzard there now getting thrown down. Jungu, shut up. Oh my god! The outlaws have done it. We thought they'd be kissing the ring, but they forced the kings to bend the knee. The plucky upstarts have done it. In the final moments, the outlaws reign supreme. But it looks like the Boston Uprising are too busy trying to take the point. That's the Widow Duel 1. Again, Philadelphia Fusion always going to come out in top. Striker though, lands a big triple on the barrage there. The Graviton helping both supports are caught together. That's what they needed, but Carpe strikes in again. Striking down, Felix <laughs> a big remove. Carpe, what are you doing? This is unbelievable. He turns around and gets on the point. Ikuai follows it up. How have they redone this? How do you retake a point like that, Philadelphia? Do you play by the rules ever? Ikuai's looking over at Carpe just laughing. What the hell? Again, it's happened so many times that they're going to do no two. self strike comes in, and it's going to be three. That's a Poco. I can't believe it. Every single time you think somebody's going to push past Billy Poco, he's right there with the self destruct. The attacking Shanghai Dragons, but look at Fitz again. This is what I'm talking about. What? The untangled Fitz. Are you what? kidding me? The 3K is Yaki. He had to shut him down. And Josh, I just screamed so much that the blood has rushed from my head and I almost fainted. Is this the secret weapon for the London Spitfire? Is this the answer to their problem? As you know, as you know, down again. That heralds disaster generally for the fusion. And Carpe wasn't far behind. Prophet with three. He's killed four players now on his own. And the Spitfire are coming through with this one. Prophet finds five kills on this traitor. And you better believe that's enough. Just waiting. Ryuji Hill holding on to the Nana Boost for now, biding his time. And now it's go time. One slap comes out, Jaru falls. He finds a second one. Oh, oh my word. Axel, an absolute legend. Five kills for him. With the assist from the legendary Ryu J. Hong as well. And the Vancouver Titans are going to get the completion with two minutes 43 remaining. And Mano all the way in the back line. There we go. The stick and the boom. Not quite going to find the kill because Mano goes primal. Well, I'm a little curious as to why that, but Sebiobi opens it up. He gets a pause book. Sebiobi just killed both supports. All right, then. There we go. Sebiobi decides to take matters into his own hands. He's done playing. He's done playing with your mistakes instead. He gets the team back. It's Sebiobi running amok. All the kills. And that is it. You, just, you can't mess with this guy. Stratus just about touches onto the point. Washington Justice, they do not want to lose this one. Raw, he's going to try and come up big right now with his earth shatter. Lays it down! I don't believe what I have just seen. Raw, you absolute madman. He hits it when they needed it. That is absurd. Whether by magic or miracle, what? I don't know, but Raw comes up with the goods exactly when his team needed it for a 5k Earth Shatter. Yaki, though, doesn't want to give up. He's Ryan. Huge Shatter in the back line. Yaki charging in, gets the pickup on his own, solo carrying this fight, somehow keeping it interesting. Another Shatter! The classic Echo, he's popping off. I don't know if it's enough. A third one! Yaki God, he's going crazy in the back line. My mic's certainly peaking, but I can't control my excitement as Mayhem is clinging for dear life to this fight. There's no way they can win it. But BQB, somehow Tuba gets over aggressive and it's BQB striking back with the help of Gangnam Jin. It may took to start, but it's going to be a main wall immediately. The Gravitic Flux, it's huge! Immortality Field has to be used so early in the fight. The Dragons have to recover. Void goes to the card here. Big Shatter, Fate comes alive on this. Reinhardt injects is a little bit too late on the sound barrier. Hanbin falls, but Izayaki's down. Where's the healing gonna be now? Shut up! It's gigantic!
Tactic! Fearless takes fate to his own hands. He eventually falls to the self-destruct, but the damage is done. The dragons are limping forward. Fate is so low, his shield's about to crack, and so is the resolve of Shanghai. They are kicked off the cart. And that's a win condition set up now for the fuel. They've got that extra poke from McCree and high ground control. He's at zero right now. Logic has already got it. Pop, pop. What? Gets four with a fire strike. The Hulk set up there from Gator, and they just wiped the floor with him. Team kill comes through. What is going on? Atlanta Rain. I think just turn to this rounder. We're, we're right going to take a look at this again. Head. Look at this. Everybody's there in the center. Boom, the Hulk combo. Oh my. Gator and that Popo. Is disgusting. It's Wrapping back around Corey. Pushes forward, gets the body shot. Tries to take him out, but Carpe will manage to find the kill. Poco alone on the point. Dangerously low. Will be melted down. Roar finds the kill. Carpe looking for a shot. Takes one. Finds Stratus. Looks him in the head. Now he's looking for the supports. Can't quite line it up. Gets on in midair. Over top of the pit. Carpe, can he do this? Bring it back from the brink. Jumps out. Luxato has already taken care of Aimgod. Roar finds a pin. Funny Astro gone. He's got a sliver of HP. He is dead. And it worked. Carpe comes back with the Widowmaker. Takes him in the skulls. And that one goes to the fusion. And because the Valiant have to play so close around Dreamer, he's the, the logical target. Oh, oh, what? That is, that is ungodly. That is wrong. Dreamer <laughs> steps off the card and immediately shatters. There's no time to respond for the fuel. Well, and I mean, hardly, but there's hardly ashes left of the fuel right now. But who does that? Off by trolling Jonah, refusing to let him heal him. And he'll sit back and deliver the nano boost when it needs to happen. Safe positioning, Jonah. Oh, he gets jumped upon Colorhex. Oh, very cheeky. No, no! What? Oh, that's a yikes. No one do what? What does not simply challenge the Octopus King? And who are you brought out his way? But Boston were already beaten, battered, and bruised by the time he got there. Overtime is still ticking. They have to commit bodies to it. But the power drive is big. South Destroy coming over the top. It's going to be forcing them away. And now the fight is taking place within the buildings. A lot of damage taking place there. Fearless having to use the adaptive shields to stay alive. Coalescence on top. Power drive is big. Death Blossom's committed. Lip so, so low. He's built up the Death Blossom. Now he's committing it. So, so low. But his team healing him up in the middle of it. Keeping him alive. Alive. Another, Another new bomb over the top, pushing them away. Dallas on the brink of destruction here, but the bomb from Sparkle is good. Fate will fall. Another pile driver. It is chaos. It is pandemonium, but they are persevering somehow. Lip trying to put an end to it. Three kills for Lip. Are you kidding me? Forcing the fade away as well. Lee Jae-yong coming back in now with the sound barrier. Just needs to clear off this point. The mines from Fearless. It's desperation now for Dallas to try and do it. But the Shanghai Dragons are holding strong now. Only a couple of players left standing and it's not enough. The Shanghai Dragons have done it. An absurd series of events. They've come back and look at the sheer joy on their faces. They can hardly believe what they've achieved. Denying the second tournament win here for Dallas, stealing away the crown. They are going to be your June Joust champions. In a situation like this, when you're the attacking team, means you have to start over. And you know, you say 15 seconds, that's a big conservative. I'd say we're really looking at like almost 30 here because you got to get reset. Bumpers Bumper away. sinking in from the back. The shatter comes down. Good night, Huxall. Follows up, gifts Gamsu. This guy has been doing this for ages, and still people don't look both ways. The card is the objective, and Kosa flies in at the last moment just to block, but Trill's down on the floor. Trill down on the deck, Super brings down Crimzo as well. Goes for the charge as well. Oh my word! He just pinned him against Gamsu. What in the Lord's name have I just witnessed? Super with a 4K, he is feeling himself. What a huge play from that guy. And now they have to push in against a large advantage from Dallas. Pelican? Okay, moving the duplicate. Oh, he cast oh. the coalescence! What is that? You've got to be kidding me! Meteor Strike down may have just turned this fight for the Atlanta Reign. Oh, the presence of mind in that moment. Jex is still, though, trying to continue this team fight there. The Sandbarrow was committed. Finally, Pelican's going to get taken out of that fall. No the keep almost from afar. The beam gets the D mech. What a ridiculous clutch from Pelican. And this guy. I mean, people are heralding him as potentially the best Echo in the game right now. Definitely showcasing there. I cannot believe the decision-making to select the Doomfist in that scenario. The other end of the pincer collides with the Titans from behind. They're not ready for it. 
The Gladiator's taking initiative here. Oh, the blade! You're out of your mind, Teru. Three! Three from Teru! Immortality field making four! No! Nano boost and five kills for Teru! Are you kidding? He gets them all inside the small room, but that fight should have been lost. That should have been dead to rights. Teru is six! Uh, he's going to have to try to deal with Pine. You can do it. Well, not that time he can't, as he gets disconnected from his mercy. Finds himself in Pine's crosshairs right there. And they continue to get... He's so aggro on this McCree. He rolls in, somersaults in. That's another three-kill life for Pine. Okay, so in the span of uh, 25 seconds, he gets the dead eye! I, I can't even finish my sentence before he kills someone else. And Fleda has not changed his hero. He's again on the Soldier 76, pushing into a Doom Fist, doing tickle damage essentially to Dallas. Sparky using all of his cooldowns to try and get a kill there. The seismic slam under the top is a Yaki. He's gone 90% in counting, the but it might not even matter. The attack ties against two. Sparkle and Hambin are removed from the fight. The mines are still doing the job. And Doha from the side. You've got to be joking. The Death Blossom does all the work, all the business, and Dallas Fuel are rewarded. They're going to get one more opportunity here with a minute 30 on the clock to try and push this and match the time. He's taking a breather. He's getting, he wants healing from someone. Zilpa actually managed to get Mecco D Mech, but to me. Oh! Are you kidding me? Get out! That's disgusting! And Moth's looking for a little bit of a boop here. He's hiding patiently. These people. They don't know he's there yet, but here we the go. Oh, the the boop! The boop. It's beautiful! Oh. Moth, you absolute legend! Wow! Blizzard eaten up, Choi Hoven. Nicely done here. There's more to happen here though, and Jungu's in trouble. He's calling for help, but he gets none of it. Immortality field. Can it keep him alive? He steps back. He can't get away. Nero runs him down, but Super's traded out. Happy finds a crucial kill in a 5v5. Choi's already been despeated here, and Happy strikes once more. He is doing it all right now, this man. Three kills from Happy and a fourth. No one can stop him. Juby gets involved a little bit here, but it's with a Happy show. Five kills to put San Francisco six feet under. Through the interior, but they play away from it. What are you joking? Void. I've never How seen that. Keep doing this? Never seen Just that before. To be damned, he kills three. Replay right now, production. Get it done. I need to see this. My eyeballs need to absorb this information so I can possibly comprehend it. How the hell this happens?